Chaz, are you? Chaz, welcome to BYU Sports Nation, man. Thank you. Glad to be here. Hey, so uh, let's just put this out there. We are two guys that were not highly recruited or recruited right. at all. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what it's like to have a number of high-profile schools trying to convince you to pick them and to come play football for them. Oh, man, well, it's, it's a real blessing, first of all, um, to be recruited and um, coaches recruiting me to come and play for them at such high prestige uh, places. Uh, at first, actually, it started, um, you know, I just I fell in love with it. I loved the, the attention from the coaches and stuff. And, um, you know, it was kind of a shock, too. Like, some schools would call me and be like, hey, we want to offer you. I'd be kind of shocked that they're, they're even talking to me. So it was kind of, um, kind of it was just dreams becoming reality, really. But uh, it's been a re- it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been fun narrowing it down and everything, and so it's, it's been a real blessing for me and my family. What were some of the uh, quote unquote fun things that might have happened during the recruiting process to try and get you to go to a, a certain school or whatever? <laughs> uh, a lot of there was a few things that have quite a few things that happened, but uh, um, really it was just uh, I it was. Just, a number of things I probably shouldn't say that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Some things that came up, but uh, for the most part, it was all good legal stuff going on. And, uh, for the most part? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk to you in person, and then we'll get the real story. Yeah. As you chose BYU, and we were so yeah. happy about it. And this that. is BYU TV, so yeah. Awesome. Okay, right. uh, by the way, te- we, a lot of people are interested in, in how in the world you got into a helicopter. Are you in one now? Let's. Uh, the, are you in a helicopter now? It sounds quiet. <laughs> no, thank goodness I'm not. That thing was too a little scary, so I'm glad <laughs> okay. I'm not in one right now. How did that begin? What, where did that come into uh, becoming a reality for you? Uh, so that actually, I was actually, Bleach Report reached out to me in my sophomore year asking if I wanted to commit using a video. And uh, so I, I was all for it. Um, and so just recently, like in November, they started contacting me and started making plans and stuff. And then uh, they came to the conclusion of – I was supposed to go bungee jumping in Los Angeles, actually. Whoa. But that was denied by the NCAA because it was too dangerous. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then they came to uh, just got some connections and found a helicopter place and decided to fly me in on my helicopter. So what was that experience like? as you actually get into the helicopter and you land in Lavelle Edwards Stadium, something that few, if any, people ever have done. Yeah. Uh, it was it was crazy, really. Um, that's when it really hit me, like, dang, I'm committing to BYU. Uh, when I was flying over the stadium and seeing the city and everything around it, and um, it was really, it was a thrill feeling, man. It was, it was once in a lifetime, for sure. So when it came down to making that actual decision, uh, Chaz, Ayu, who was on the Desert First Credit Union in the hotline with us, why did you pick BYU over schools like Stanford and UCLA and Michigan? Uh, you know, the coaching staff here is what really made a huge difference for me. Um, I've been around the program a lot with my dad being here, and uh, I've been able to see how the players interact with the coaches and the relationships that they have, and it's something that you don't find at um, any other school. Um, and I do get that question of how I turned down Stanford a lot. A lot of people were pushing for me to go to Stanford, obviously, but um, I, I just felt like here at BYU I could develop great relationships and uh, um, good connections that would uh, potentially get me to the same place that Stanford could, po- could have possibly gotten. Some, guy, yeah, some guys want to carve out their own legacy. In your case, right. your grandpa played here. He was very emotional. Uh, about right. you signing on on uh, signing day, which which was cool to see. Of course, you mentioned your dad, Jason, who's on the staff. Why was it that you wanted to be a third generation Cougar and continue that legacy? Uh, yeah, early in my recruiting, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to leave Utah and uh, go somewhere that no one in my family has gone, and kind of just start my own legacy at that school and uh, get my name out there. But um, as I was coming down to it, it became um, I kind of matured up a little bit and realized that I had the opportunity to um, represent my grandpa and my uncles that have played here before me, um, as well as start a, another, a new legacy for my name and um, just build on top of this. Talking with Chaz Ayu, recent BYU football signee. By the way, uh, we're all counting on you to make it a fourth generation at some point. Okay, Chaz? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got you. I got you. What, uh, what is Kalani Satake like as a recruiter? 
Uh, he was, it was kind of a, a weird situation with BYU because with my dad being here and in all their recruiting meetings and everything, is kind of like an elephant in the room is what they would say when it came to when my name was brought up. But uh, Kalani, as far as his way of recruiting me, was um, no different. Like, he had me call him uncle instead of Coach Sataki. Um, so it was kind of, he made it really personal with me, and uh, um, he just made me feel really welcome. would always pull me into his office whenever I came in, and we'd talk about things, everything except for football. So um, he took a, a different approach on recruiting that all these other coaches did, um, and it was just something that I really liked. How did your dad handle that situation? Obviously, he wants you to go to BYU, but he wants what's best for you as well. What was that like? Right. Uh, he stayed out of it. Um, he told the coaching staff, too, that um, if they wanted me, they'd have to come and get me. He's not going to force me to come to BYU or anything. So, And he was really open with um, me and all the other schools that were recruiting me. Um, he came with me on, on all of my social visits, so um, he wasn't against me going out and seeing other schools and seeing what I like best. What kind of uh, experience are you anticipating at BYU as you begin your football career next season? Um, I'm I'm excited for it. Um, there's a lot of veterans here that have learned a lot, have been through a lot, and so I'm excited to learn from them. Um, whether that results in a lot of playing time, limited playing time, no playing time, I'm just excited to come in and learn and um, just get this college thing on the road. So, are you a play first? Got I'm going to play a year first. You're going to play a year first before mission. Okay. Yep. And and safety, is that where you think you'll play? I think I think that's where I'll, I'll end up is that safety. Kind of cool. graduated. I don't know if you heard that. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, uh, he's graduated, so. <laughs> there is a spot open, which, which is good. There's definitely some, some room for competition there. So. And BYU has a young secondary, a very talented secondary, a lot of, lot of good players in there. Uh, what's right. it going to be like to play with that group that's coached by Gennaro Gilt? And Dead It's going to be a it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I was talking to some of the dudes, and uh, we're trying to, I mean, I'm, we're trying to make this place like DBU, man. We're trying to bring in the best recruits for the next classes coming up and trying to develop the class that we have here right now that um, and be the best that we can possibly be. Chaz, are you with us on BYU Sports Nation? If you had to pick an athlete that you pattern your game after, who would it be? Uh, I would I want to say Cam Chancellor. I like the way that he's always coming downhill. Um He's never running, uh, having to run sideline to sideline and make a tackle. Really, it's always he's meeting them head up, coming down here. So um, I like that aspect of his game a lot, and that's what I try to model my game after. I'm a Seahawk fan, so yeah, that's a, the perfect <laughs> analogy. A linebacker <laughs> with tremendous speed. What's your exactly. next? What's your next class today at Timpu? My next class, I'm actually doing uh, homeschooling now, so oh, nice. I kind of just, I just do whatever. No, whatever class I feel like. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, you're okay. living the dream in February of your senior year, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if I just cruise all day and maybe do like 10 minutes of homework at home and call it good. That nice. was Spencer at BYU. Yeah, that's hey, crazy. Hey, huh. that's, I made it work. wild. Man. I made it work. <laughs> what uh, What yeah. are your Valentine's Day plans, Chaz? Man, I wish I had plans for Valentine's Day. It's just I got a basketball game tonight and uh, it's really a basketball game and spending time with family. No significant other or anything like that. <laughs> Who? Uh, our Twitter question today is this. I want to get your opinion. Who's the most loved BYU athlete of all time, in your opinion? Of all time? Ooh, that's a hard one. Um, I think, really, uh, I don't know if it's just because he's back here, but Ty Detmer is, I feel like he's getting some, a ton of love. I mean, <laughs> everywhere we go, you see him, and he's getting people asking for autographs, pictures, and everything. So, uh, I feel like he's a... He's the most most loved athlete of all time. Hey, he's the man. How about how about a current athlete? Yeah, who do you get along with really well? Who do you love right now that uh, is at BYU? Uh, Tanner Mangum has been has been really cool with me. Uh, he's he's one of the obviously one of the biggest names here on campus, and uh, he hasn't been giving me the cold shoulder or anything. He really took me under, so uh, I, I love Tanner. He's not going to take you under his wing in fall camp, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, no. I, I wouldn't he, let him, man. I'm he's going to be like, don't pick that off, man. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. Don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> hey, Chaz, it's been great to talk to you. Uh, congratulations yep. on everything and signing with BYU. Uh, when we want a helicopter ride, we know who to talk to. Yep, you're the guy. <laughs> yes, sir. I got you. Anytime. All right, Chaz. We'll talk to you soon, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.